you wake up every day with an assurance that there will be a new model so far ai hasn't disappointed and today ai 21 has dropped two models of their jamba 1.5 family these two models are the topic of this video and before that i am going to set the stage by describing as what is unique about these models first these are hybrid ssm transformer instruction following models the keyword here is ssm transformer ssm stands for state space models whereas transformer models are our traditional models which we have been using with all the other models like llamas jammas gpts and rest of the lot let's first try to understand what is the difference between transformer models and state space models and then we will have a look at this new family of models transformer models which were introduced around 2017 are primarily used for natural language processing tasks they rely on a self attention mechanism to weigh the importance of input sequences enabling parallel processing and efficient handling of sequential data this architecture is really good at tasks like language translation text generation and sentiment analysis whereas state space ai models or ssm models are inspired by control theory and are used for modeling sequential data forecasting and control system they represent the system's state at each time step using equations to evolve the state over time this approach is suitable for tasks like time series prediction robotics and autonomous systems now if you look at this hybrid architecture this is quite interesting we all know that until now llms have been primarily built on the conventional transformer architecture and they are quite powerful but there are two major drawbacks with the transformer architecture first is they have a very very large memory footprint secondly if as um, the context grows the inference gets slower when it comes to larger memory footprint transformers memory footprint scales with context length this makes it challenging to run long context windows or numerous parallel batches without extensive hardware resources limiting widespread opportunities to experiment and deploy and transformers attention mechanism scales quadratically with sequence length and slows down throughput as each token depends on the entire sequence that came before it placing long context use cases outside the scope of efficient production that is where sometimes back i think last year a new architecture came up which is called as mamba and we i already have covered mamba a lot on my channel inclu including the jamba one and if you go to my channel and just search with jamba you will see there are a lot of videos and similarly if i search with mamba here okay this is mamba you will see that there are a lot of mamba models to here and i have gone into more detail as what are state space models so if you're interested feel free to search out okay coming back to this model and the difference between these two mamba addresses exactly these two shortcomings which i have just mentioned above about large memory footprint and slower inference and that really opens a new frontier of possibility for language model development so but again state space model also struggles because without attention over the entire context this state space or ssm struggles to match the same output quality of the transformer models so that is why they have combined the attention with the mamba architecture and they have called it jamba so composed of transformer mamba and mixture of expert layers jamba optimizes for memory throughput and performance all at once as i showed you earlier i already have covered the previous version of jamba and it was quite uh, high quality and that is why when i saw that okay ai21 has released a mini version and a large version so this is a mini and this is a large but there is one catch here even the mini model is huge it is not a small model you would need a multi gpu for it because 
the even um, mini model has around 52 billion parameters whereas large model has i think around 399 billion total parameters which is huge so i won't be able to run the hands and demo on it but let's try to see what exactly these models are so both of these models are state of the art hybrid ssm transformer instruction following foundation models and now you know what is ssm transformer model and the jamba models are most powerful and efficient long context model on the market at the moment as per their model card and they deliver up to 2.5 times faster inference than leading models of comparable sizes this model demonstrates superior long context handling speed and quality and they mark the first time a non transformer model has been successfully scaled to quality and strength of the market's leading model the jamba 1.5 mini has 12 billion active and 52 billion total parameters whereas jamba 1.5 large has 94 billion active and 398 billion total parameter and it is also optimized for business use cases and capabilities such as function calling structured output and grounded generation which means rag another cool thing is that the models have been released under the jamba open model license which is quite a permissive license allowing full research use and commercial use under the license terms so the architecture as i said that it is a joint attention and mamba it has context length of 256k which is quite good knowledge cut off date it is just a uh, very recent march 5th 2024 and another cool thing is that it is multilingual it supports english spanish french portuguese italian dutch german arabic and hebrew they have also shared some of the benchmarking information which you can check out from uh, their model page now if you want to install it i would highly suggest you go back to my channel search for my previous jamba videos use the same code but replace it with this new model name and you should be able to use it if you have big multi gpu or um, h100 gpu card i think that is uh, what would be required for it to use otherwise i don't think so it is going to run easily but i will see if i could uh, run it in the lora or q lora but i think uh, you would definitely need some good uh, gpu here at least at least 80 gb of vram unfortunately that is the um, reality of this model but seems like a good model and i hope that uh, we will have more architecture the more choice we have the more competition there will be and the cost will come down so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this new jamba model if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching